usually when I am filming, I am putting my best foot forward, and today I am totally not. You will be seeing me at my worst. But I am doing a project behind me, and I wanted to let you know about it because it is such a cool idea. I thought, well, maybe you might want to try it for one reason or another as well. So I wanted you to know how I'm doing it. I'm going to be turning my back on you and showing you how it's done. And um, let me show you what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a wall that my husband made for me out of um, recycled pallets. And I am doing a new project. I've decided to have a booth at a local antique mall because I have um, stacks and boxes of things that I'm not using anymore. Old things and I am simplifying. There is just no reason for me to have boxes of old plates and um, pictures and furniture, all kinds of things that I can't use. So I'm going to be um, opening this booth. In fact, it's already opened. I have most of the walls up. These are the last two walls. And before I finished, I'm starting on my very last one now, I was just thinking, why not show them what I'm doing in case if this may be something they want to try as well. So the first thing is, find old pallets. Where do you find used pallets? We found them on the side of the road. Loaded them up into the truck, and then my husband um, nailed them to, um, I don't think they're two by fours or two by twos, I think they are, of new wood. And I have mixed some paint, and I will tell you what I mixed. I mixed what I had. I did go to the local home, um, home repair department store, and I got a little can of something that they had mixed and the people didn't want it. It was the wrong color. So I purchased that, which was an off-white and a white, and a small little container of gray, flat paint. And I brought it home and I just mixed it all together until it was um, the color I wanted. But while I was mixing, I felt like, oh, this is too off-white. I want a little bit more gray. So I went and picked up old paint cans that still had some paint in them. And mostly I used a paint that was um, a leftover white from a ceiling paint. Mixed it all together, stirred it till it came out with the color I wanted. Now the first coat I put on is a little bit thicker. I don't cover all the way. And then I will go back and I will really thin it out with a lot of water, go over every single board, and I call that my whitewash. So, okay, I'm going to turn my back on you. Just take a look. See what you think. Um, I will tell you that my husband said, you know, you can use those, um, you can stand on them like a ladder. So that's what I do. Okay, so I finished the um, first coat with a thicker paint, and now I'm going back over every board with the thin whitewash. Can you see how thin that is? It does uh, tend to get a little bit runny, and I just don't worry about it. I just go back and kind of um, 
smooth out the drip marks. And the reason I go back over it with this um, whitewash is because I feel like it smooths the surface out a little bit. Um, you'll find that if you're painting palettes, um, every single board absorbs your paint differently. But I find that I really love that and I get really excited with each board on seeing exactly how that board's going to take the paint. And it smooths out the finish and I don't worry about it being um, messy or um, kind of looking undone. I want it to be, I would call it rustic chic. Um, I love the way it looks. This is exactly what I was after. I like to get the center parts a little bit. Again, um, it doesn't need to be completely covered. I don't want it to be completely covered. And I'll tell you that when I was at that um, big box office, uh, not office, big box um, home improvement store, that uh, the, the lady told me, she's like, now you're going to have to seal that or it's going to fade. Well, I'm not sealing this, and if it fades, I think it's going to look better. Paintbrushes. Notice that I'm using a really cheap paintbrush. You use them, and then you toss them out. So that's all there is to it. It was um, not very difficult. Maybe the hardest part was when my husband built the pallet walls and maybe even when they're installed, but the painting of it was pure pleasure. I enjoyed mixing the paint, finding the color, and I loved um, just seeing how those boards accepted each coat of paint. It is not perfect, and I think that's what I love about it. So. I will bring you down once I get my booth completely set up and let you see how it looks. And um, so, yep, that's it for today. I hope you don't mind me sharing my life with you, what I'm doing, and this DIY project. And maybe it's something that you might like to try. Um, I mean, there are tons of things you can do with palettes. Take them apart, paint them. But um, this is all part of upcycling and using what is already available instead of something new. And of course, just like the shabby chic um, philosophy, loving things for their imperfection. So until the next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day and namaste.